father drifted away, my mother's dead and gone. My sister died of shame, my brother never came home. I've been running so long, I just can't run no more. I've been running since the day that I was born. was a close-up view of how I play this little song that I composed called Crying Shame. Uh, the story behind it um, is when I, in, when, I, when I was still in the Army, this is back in 2004, my unit left Iraq in July of 2004, and unbeknownst to me, one of the units that came in and replaced us was, uh, was a unit that uh, my best friend in the world at the time was a was a tank crewman in that unit and uh, I found out in November of 04 that he was killed uh, killed in action what happened to him was he was up on on top of the turret of the tank um, I won't get into the grisly details or anything but the, his tank was ambushed by a bunch of guys with RPG rockets these rocket propelled grenade launchers and they fired multiple RPGs at the top of the turret and he was struck by one of those RPGs and instantly killed. Um, and yeah, that's all I need to say about it. There's more to it, but that's the basic gist of it. So I learned, uh, and toward the end of November, that he had been killed, and uh, and I, I composed this song. It's not really about him. It's just, you know, I was 19 or 20 years old, and I wanted to. Uh, sing about some of what I was feeling. So the only mention of him is when I sing um, My Brother Never Came Home in one of those verses. My father drifted away, my mother's dead and gone. My sister died of shame, my brother never came home. So that was my little homage to him. He was a great kid. He really was. People always say that about the dead, but this kid was a really, really nice kid, really good guy. He was married, 21 years old. So how do we play this piece of music? The tuning that I chose is one that I learned from George Gibson of Knott County, Kentucky. George told me this tuning was called Darling Cora Tuning, because you play Darling Cora in it. He learned it from his father, Mal Gibson, so it's G-C-G-C-C. I am relatively tuned, probably a whole step below that, so I'm more like F, B flat, F, and a couple of B flats. Another name for this tuning was dulcimer tuning. And I should explain also that um, the, the term dulcimer tuning was used for a number of banjo tunings. Any banjo tuning where you had two or three strings tuned alike, or more, <laughs> where you had multiple strings tuned alike, like G, C, G, C, C, Apparently that was often referred to as a dulcimer tuning for the banjo. Just to add a little more confusion to your lesson today. So G, C, G, C, C. I like to start it out on the open third string. The whole song is played on the third fret, and then there's a little bit of play on the bass string where I do a reach, where I reach from the third fret to the fifth fret on the bass string. But other than that, the whole piece is played on the third string. It's actually on the third fret, and it's actually fairly simple. So you play, you start off on the open third, then you note it or hammer it. I guess you hammer it. Then you play the second string open. Then I like to do a bend on the second string at the third. Then play it open, and then you're gonna note your third string at the third, then play it open then play your bass string open. Then I like to slide on the bass string from the third to the fifth fret. Then play it at the third, then slide again. Then play it open, then hammer it. Then play the third open. 
then back to the fifth, sorry. Then the third open. Then do a choke on the third. Then the third open. And do a little play here on, from the fifth to the third. And that is it. You just repeat that over and over again. For those of you who prefer learning from tablature, I'm going to put a link right up here. This link will take you to the Patreon group. The, the web address is patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks. For a very small contribution, you get the tabs for this and all the other songs that we've done on there. And you get access to our members only forum there. We have well over a thousand members and we'd like to have you join us. Okay.